Here we talk to you guys about positive and negative integers and your understanding of how positive and negatives uh, react, especially when you're adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing, and stuff like that. Uh, so to start off, you have to realize that there can be negative numbers, and most of you guys would be familiar with that. Uh, think in terms of thermometers and stuff like that. Anytime it gets really cold and below, goes below zero, you know, start going minus one, minus two, that's what we're talking about, negative numbers. Okay, so numbers can go negative, they can be, you can have things worth less than zero. And that's all a negative number means. It means it's worth less than zero. Okay, so if, you know the timeline here, and if you think about negative numbers, they just basically count backwards the same way the uh, you know going as they you know the number gets larger and larger, the the lower the value becomes. Exactly mirror image of how it actually works with uh, larger and larger numbers. So zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They keep getting larger, progressively larger. Negative numbers keep getting progressively smaller the further back you go. Negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four. It's just like a mirror image of each other. So you might have to be able to process adding and subtracting positive uh, and negative integers. And uh, you know, just to kind of look at it, so you have negative 7 plus 5. You have to figure out, okay, well, how am I going to actually figure out how you're going to be actually calculating this? And number lines might work really well for you. It's a good way of thinking about it. And uh, if you can't do them in your head, uh, you might be able to have time to draw it out on a scrap piece of paper for actually doing it on an exam. But keep working through these questions, you'll start being able to do it in your head. But this is basically what it looks like. So you have negative 7, which is right here, circled here, and now you're adding 5 to it. So, you know, the number negative 7 is going to, getting, going to be getting 5 bigger. So you take negative 7, you count out 5 more. Negative 6, negative 5, negative 4, negative 3, negative 2. And that's your answer. Negative 7 plus 5 is negative 2. Same sort of thing works with negative 2 plus 7. So negative 2, you start off here, the negative 2, you add 7, so it's going to get 7 bigger. Negative 2, Negative 1, 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's your ultimate answer, 5. Okay? Negative 6 plus 3, negative 4 plus 11 all work the same way. You know, here's an example of negative 4 plus 11 right here. Okay? So you're taking the negative 4, you're adding 11 to it, becomes a larger number. Subtracting works the same way. Okay? So you have negative 2 and you're subtracting. Uh, minus 5, you're taking it, taking 5 away from it, so you get negative 2 uh, minus 5 equals negative 7. So you have negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6, negative 7. Okay? So it becomes a smaller number. Same thing, 4 minus 7 it becomes a negative number, negative 3, because it goes below 0. Negative 4 minus 8 becomes negative 12. Uh, 2 minus 5 becomes negative 3. These are all examples of how it works. And if you have a, if you have a, a graph like this and a timeline like this, you can see how it works. It's not very much different than actually working with thermometers and stuff like that uh, if you're using the Celsius uh, measurements anyway. Okay, when you're adding and subtracting positive integers, you must know what to do when two signs are directly beside each other. Okay, so every now and then you might get uh, something like this where it's like 6 plus positive 3. And if you have two positives, it equals positive. Okay, so 6 plus positive 3 is the exact same thing as saying 6 plus 3, which is 9. If there's two negatives beside each other, it becomes a positive sign as well. So 6 minus negative 3. Anytime there's two signs that are identical, they become positive. So 6 minus negative 3 becomes 6 plus 3, which equals 9. Okay? You have to wrap your head around a little bit. And just the more you practice with this, the better it will be. But if there's two signs directly beside each other, as in these examples here, and here and here, there's three examples here, uh, you have to know what to do with them. And if the two signs are identical, if they're both positive, they become, uh, it becomes a plus sign. If they're both negative, it becomes a plus sign. Where it becomes negative, where it, uh, you have to realize that if there's a positive and a negative sign directly beside each other, it becomes a negative sign. So 6 plus negative 3 becomes 6 minus 3, okay, which the answer will ultimately be 3. If you have 6 minus positive 3, so 6 minus plus 3 here, I'll draw it out for you, that also becomes a negative sign. It becomes a minus sign. So 6 minus positive 3 would become 6 minus 3. It would also be 3. It's something you have to memorize. Uh, it's pretty easy, pretty straightforward. The more you work with these things, the better you'll get at it. Just memorize it. So two positive signs becomes positive. Two negative signs become negative. A positive and a negative become a negative. Okay, and when you're working with multiplying and dividing fractions, uh, same sort of thing applies. So when you're multiplying and dividing, you have to figure out, okay, well, uh, you know, what sign is it? And you have to do the calculation as well. Uh, so the same sort of thing. So two positives mean a positive. So if uh, you know, the two numbers you're multiplying out are both positive, it's going to be a positive number. 
the two signs are both negative, it's going to become a positive number. And if they're opposite signs, one's positive, one's negative, that means it's going to become a negative number. Uh, easy way to do it, I find, and you can work with these things however you want, but you know, just one recommendation is just do the calculation first. Okay, ignore, ignore the actual positive negative signs here. So you have solve the equation ignoring the signs. It's a good first step. So you have 6 times negative 3. Forget the negative aspect. What's 6 times 3? The answer is 18. Okay, after you've solved, after you've figured out the 18, then you look at, okay, well, 6 is positive, 3 is negative. So you have a positive and negative. So a positive and negative mean that it's going to be a negative number. And your ultimate answer is negative 18. And the same thing applies with all of these types of numbers, okay? So 5 times negative 7, okay? Do the equation first. What's 5 times 7? It's 35. Then look at it. Okay, well, there's a positive negative again. That means it's going to be a negative number, as you will see in the ultimate answer here in blue. Okay? Negative 35. You know, 36 divided by negative 9. You know, your answer is going to be 4 just from an equation perspective. Then you have to see, look at it and say, okay, well... 36 is positive, 9 is negative. Your ultimate answer is going to be negative 4, as you can see right here. Okay? So do the equation first. I'll just leave this here. So three, negative 3 times negative 4, do the calculation first. 3 times 4 is 12. Negative 3, negative 4, they're both negatives. That means it's positive. Okay? And it's just a question of practicing these things. The more you practice, the better you'll get at them. And that's all it is. Okay? So just remember, uh, you know, when you're adding and subtracting, if there's two positives directly beside each other, it becomes a positive plus sign. If there's two negatives be directly beside each other, it becomes a plus sign. And if there's a positive and a negative, then it becomes a negative uh, minus sign. And same thing when you're multiplying and dividing. Two positive, so if you're multiplying two positive numbers, it's going to be a positive answer. If you're multiplying two negative numbers, it's going to be a positive answer. And if it's a positive and a negative number that you're adding or dividing together, the answer is going to be negative. Okay, well, good luck with that. Keep working at it, keep studying it, and uh, like I said, the more you do, the better you'll get at this.